हेलो स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ इन फिजिक्स वी स्टार्टेड द रिविजन ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन दैट इज मोशन एंड टाइम नाउ वी लर्न अबाउट द स्पीड एंड टाइम पीरियड एक्सेट्रा टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू do some numericals means the sums which are based on the theory that we learn let's see the first one a simple pendulum takes 32 seconds complete 20 oscillations what is the time period of the pendulum now we know that what is the time period time period means the time taken to complete one oscillation here it is given that the 32 seconds are taken to complete 20 oscillations so we have to find the time to complete one oscillation that will be the time period so here time taken to complete 20 oscillations is equal to 32 second therefore time taken to complete one oscillation is equal to 32 second divided by 20 20 oscillations so now we can simplify 16 to the 10 to the so is equal to 1.6 second therefore the time period of the pendulum is 1.6 seconds so here the time taken for 20 oscillations are given and therefore we have to find the time which is required to complete only one oscillation so we have to divide it by 20 to get the answer next question is the distance between two places two stations two stations is 240 km a train takes 4 hours cover the distance to cover the distance now what we have to find calculate the speed of the train calculate the speed of the train so now here the distance covered is how much 240 km and time taken is 4 hours that two two things are given 
Now we need to find the speed. But when we we are able to do that when we know the formula. We already wrote down the formula in the last session that the speed is equal to distance covered divided by time taken. So now speed of train is equal to distance covered divided by the time taken. What was the distance covered? 240 kilometer. 240 kilometer divided by what is the time? 4 hours. So now we can have the cancellation. 60 multiplied by 4 upon 4 kilometer per hour. So 4 for cancel. So 60 kilometer per hour. Therefore, the speed of train is 60 kilometer per hour. So in physics, also there are some mathematics. But that calculations are very, very small. Only important thing is which formula should be used. If you know the formula that speed is equal to distance divided by time, then it is very, very simple. But if you don't know the formula, then you won't be able to do any type of numericals. So, whatever formulas are very, very important. After that, calculations are very, very small like that. Now the next question is, the odometer of a car reads 57,321.0 km. So at 8.30 am, the reading in the odometer is 57,321.0, so I didn't write down 0.0. So it is 57,320 km. And then, what is the distance moved by the car if at 8.50 a.m. the odometer reading has changed to 57,336 km. So now first we have to find the distance covered in that time period and also to find the speed in two units, kilometer per minute also and then we have to convert it into kilometer per hour also. So first we have to find the distance covered. So very simple distance covered is the final reading minus the initial reading. So the distance covered by car during 8.30 uh, am to 8.50 am is equal to 5.7336 minus 5.7321 kilometer. So now we have to subtract 6 minus 1 is 5, 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 3 is 0, and then 7 minus 7 is 0, so it is 15 kilometer. So the first answer is that uh, between 8.30 a.m. to 8.50 a.m. the car has covered the distance of 15 km. Now time taken is equal to 20 minutes. How? Because from 8.30 to 8.50 there is only 20 minutes there. So now, speed of car is equal to distance divided by time. So distance is 15 kilometer 
डिवाइड बाय 20 मिनट दैट इज थ्री फाइव जा फाइव फोर जा सो दैट इज थ्री अपॉन फोर किलोमीटर पर मिनट दैट इज द फर्स्ट आंसर बट नाउ यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू किलोमीटर पर आवर आल्सो so here what we will do we will convert the minute into hour how we know that in one hour there are 60 minutes it means that we if we want to convert minutes into hours we have to divide by 60 so that is equal to 15 km upon Twenty upon sixty hours. That is fifteen into sixty upon twenty. Two three zero three. So fifteen three zero forty-five kilometer per hour. So here we get answers in both units. Kilometer per minute also, and we find the answer in kilometer per hour also because when we want to find the kilometer per hour that minutes should be converted into the second uh, i mean hours and then we find the area so now let's take the next sum salma takes 15 minutes Salma takes fifteen minutes to from her house. From her house to reach her school. On bicycle. If the bicycle has speed of two meter per second, calculate the distance. Calculate the distance between her house and the school. Between her house and school. Now here two things are given. Time taken. Fifteen minutes. And speed two meter per second. Now here time is given in minutes, but the speed is given in meter per second. So here first it is necessary to convert this minutes into second. So that will be multiplied by sixty seconds. So that is nine hundred seconds. So now we know this formula. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Because we know that speed is equal to distance divided by time. So distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Speed is two meter per second multiplied by nine hundred seconds. So here the distance will be nine to the eighteen, so one thousand eight hundred meter. Or you can convert it into kilometer by dividing by thousand. So there is one point eight 
kilometer. So the distance between her house and the school is 1.8 kilometer. So by this way, we can find out the distance or whatever is there. So what is in, uh, very important in here is that the formulas and the units because here you can see that if you don't think about it and you directly put the formula distance is equal to speed multiplied by time then you will put 15 into 2 15 to the 30 that is your answer but here the both units are different one was minute one was second so here minute must be converted into second by multiplying by 60 and then you have to put the formula and find out the answer so as i told you before also that in physics the numericals are very simple just multiplication division addition subtraction nothing much more than that but important thing is to start by the formula if you don't know the formula you won't be able to do this so please understand this everything keep the formulas in your mind then it is very very easy and this numericals you will learn in higher standard also and therefore here it is basic things so you must have that idea in your mind so that in the higher standard it will be little easier for you to do the numericals in physics so here we are going to finish the session and as usual you will get the pdf and any confusion there is comment section thank you very much